everybody, Tata Strength here. We're gonna be going over the backswing 360. So the first thing is gonna be starting in a dead hang, getting that first pump, getting that backswing. So the first thing, right, hanging from the bar. And then we're gonna kick out to, to start that swing. So we get that swing now. So on the backswing, coming here, we're gonna do a 360. So we'll go through that with a few steps. Okay. Dead hang, kick out. Whoa. I would say you've just been getting out. Like uh, to do dynamic movements, I would say to do three times a week because you're going to tear up your hands. Your hands are going to swell up, they're going to hurt, they're going to rip. So the more that you, uh, obviously the more that you practice, the easier this can become, you're going to get that better. So you're maybe in the beginning you're going to want to do it every day, but that's really going to pull you back from actually making progress because you're going to be hurting your hands. You're not going to be performing the movement properly and engaging everything properly just because you're hurting so much just in your, the palms of your hands. So I would say to take it about three three days a week. Uh, for myself, that backswing 360 took me about maybe four months. So the next uh, the next trick that we're gonna go over is a muscle up 360. So the top of the muscle up, right? You're in support. You're gonna bring the legs out, straight bar dip, so that you can pop up. And you're in 360. Whoa. So the 360 the. The muscle up 360 that we just went over, I would recommend to go over it with the parallel bars or a bar that is maybe about chest high. Just so that you can start to practice throwing the 360 and then just coming down to the ground. Not necessarily worrying about dropping from such a, uh, such a height. You can just be here, you can go for it, you can still be on the ground before you hit, before you're looking for that bar. All right, so you're gonna break it down that you're gonna come here come down so that you have that that push power uh, then it's uh, and everything around okay so the legs can wind up so that you can throw them so if you see that like when I go my feet aren't straight I come down and I'm already winding to release okay so those feet wind up so that you can throw it around. Now I spin over my left shoulder. You might spin over your right shoulder. Okay. So the thing is that whatever I'm doing, you would just do the opposite. So right now, my left comes over my right so that I could whip my right around. But if you're gonna spin the opposite way, your right is gonna come over so that you can spin it the opposite way. So it depends on how you feel more comfortable rotating in the air. So the next trick that we're gonna go over is called a cherry drop. Cherry drop is when you're sitting on top of the bar and then you drop back from the bar, but you hold the bar with the back of your knee, you rotate around, and you grab the bar again. So I'll do a demonstration really quick. Come in real quick, Drew. So, the cherry drop is when you're sitting on top of the bar, you're gonna hold the bar with only your legs and you're gonna drop back. So the way that you're gonna do that is you're gonna put the bar in the back of your knee. You're gonna keep your heel to your butt, okay? So when the bar is in the back of your knee and you keep, the, you keep your heel to your butt, you're gonna be locked into the bar. The way you're gonna get the bar to your knee is you counterbalance your weight by as you slide the bar into your knee, you drop your chest forward. So I'm here, the bar is on my butt. As I start to bring the bar to my knee, I bring my chest forward. So I'm here, my chest comes forward, and the bar comes into the back of my knee. See where the bar is on the back of my knee? So then I'm gonna squeeze the bar with my legs. So squeeze and fall. First. So, like I said, <laughs> once you have the bar in the back of your knee, 
you keep your heel forced to your butt and you're locked in. So I can move around. I'm locked in. As long as I keep this engaged, I'm locked in on the bar. So then as you start to swing, when you feel your chest rise, you turn for the bar. So your chest starts to rise up. When you start to rise, you turn back for the bar. So when you're sitting on top of the bar, bar goes into the back of your knee, chest goes forward to balance it, hands go up and you fall back. As long as you keep your heel to your butt, you're going to be locked in onto the bar. Falling down from the top is going to give you plenty of momentum. As you start to feel yourself start to rise up, your chest is coming up, you're going to turn and reach for the bar. I want to say thank you very much for tuning into this video that had me involved. I want to thank Islam and thank the Bar right. Bars team for letting me be a part of this video. Thank you so much for bringing me out thank to your you, country and being part of the thank competitions. You. And I look forward to the more that we do. And I look forward to more videos so you can see. Yeah. Nice. Perfect.